Zach with ECU Master here. I just want to do a quick unboxing video. We've got our stock of EMU Black engine management units in stock now. Um, here we go. So again, here's a nice little packaging sleeve, full description of all the features in the back. Um, describes all the features of the EMU, the specs, standards it's built to. Next warranty card. And here we are, this is the EMU Black. So again, tiny little waterproof case. It is CNC aluminum, built-in four bar map sensor, micro USB. And again, the gray connector stays exactly the same as the old gray connector on the EMU. The black connector gains 15 pins. It's now a 39 pin connector versus the old 24. There's the ECU itself. If we start opening up the box here, here's the connectors. But again, these housings are really easy to use. To insert pins, you would pop out this yellow lock. What this yellow lock does it locks down the retaining tabs. When you push a pin through the seal on the back, a tab locks into the pin, which to release the pins, you would actually lift that tab and pull it out, but this is the secondary lock. And again, these are cam lock fastener. You, you would click it on the ECU, log it on with that tab. Here's some resistors for various pull up and pull down functions. If you're using like a, a temperature channel on one of the analog inputs, you would use one of those. Um, here are the pins, and the, there are two sizes. These are for uh, ignition channels and grounds. That's the larger style pin. These are the smaller ones. Any unused spot on the connectors, if you want to maintain the waterproof rating of the connectors, you would insert those pins in the blank holes on the connector so that it maintains a waterproof seal. USB to micro USB cable. I think one of my favorite features about the packaging with the ECU Master products is that you get a laminated pinout card. That way it's not a piece of paper that gets destroyed in your car. If you make any changes to these inputs or if you have something assigned, uh, you can always just scribble on here with a Sharpie. That way you've got a good reference in the vehicle if you need to troubleshoot, diagnose, or repin anything later. Uh, and again, another channel description that shows all the wiring for the O2 sensor. And again, a neat feature of the EMU Black is that you can use either a Bosch 4.2 or a 4.9 sensor. Um, it's really handy because you know they're they're both readily available and they're they're advantages to each. Uh, but again, just general diagnostic here of the outputs and inputs on the EMU limited pinout, and that is the new EMU Black. Thank you.